What is going on, Catch Fan? My name is John Dawson, and in today's video, we are going to be going over three rookie wide receivers who I believe need to be on your 2022 fantasy football draft boards immediately. If you guys do enjoy today's video, make sure to hit that like button down below and hit that subscribe button, baby. Join the Catch family on the road to 1,000 subscribers. Let's hop right into it. First on the list, I'm going to have Trey Lon Burks, who joins the Tennessee Titans after that big blockbuster trade in the first round of the 2022 NFL draft. Trey Lon Burks is going to theoretically 100% replace AJ Brown, right? They trade away AJ Brown to the Eagles, could not pay him exactly what he wanted. Trey Lon Burks' exact NFL comp is AJ Brown for a lot of analysts out there. And I think that the Titans are going to force feed him with a ton of targets right away, implement him right into this offense, use him as a weapon for Ryan Tannehill, maybe Malik Willis, but more than likely this season, Ryan Tannehill, I think he fits the scheme perfectly. He's going to be able to get open on a lot of those play action type plays. Don't get me wrong, the Titans will probably be running the football first, but overall, I think Burks is going to end up with a lot of targets he has bobby trees as a wide receiver one on this team to alleviate some of the defensive pressure so overall i think the outlook for Traylon burks from a fantasy perspective moving into 2022 is very very bright next up we've got christian watson going to the green bay packers they land their receiver in the second round of the nfl draft and still were able to bolster up that defense in the first round. I quite like what the Packers were able to do overall in the draft, but they finally go out and get a receiver. They're getting a lot of heat for not drafting one in the first round. So at the moment, you've got Alan Lazard, Randall Cobb, Sammy Watkins, and Amari Rogers as well, kind of leading the way. But then we add in Christian Watson out of North Dakota State. I think he was an absolute steal in this draft. Traded up in the second round to go out and get him. And I absolutely think he's going to be a perfect fit within this offense. I still think Lazard might end up playing like a wide receiver one on paper, but I don't think Randall Cobb, Watkins, or even Rodgers jump Watson, what he's going to be able to do on the field. Aaron Rodgers has been the MVP the last two seasons, and I do think he is going to need targets to absolutely feed with the departure of Devonte Adams. I think Watson's going to be a perfect fit in this scheme. I think his fantasy ADP is going to be moving up and up as we start to approach the summer and the first week of the 2022 NFL football season. I absolutely love Watson. I think he's going to be a steal in mock drafts and in live best ball drafts in the next month or so. So I will go out, put him on your 2022 fantasy draft boards right away. Last in the video, we've got the other team who was gaining a lot of heat for not drafting a wide receiver in the first round with the Kansas City Chiefs. Similar to the Packers, I think they had a phenomenal draft. They were able to bolster up that defense, their secondary and edge rusher positions in the first round and still go out in the second round and get an absolute steal in Sky Moore. We saw a couple receivers go before Sky Moore and there are a plethora of mock drafts out there that had Sky Moore falling into the first round, although he's a little bit more of a second round talent overall. He ended up going very, very late in the second round to the Kansas City Chiefs. We saw a lot of receivers, like I just said, drafted before him. At the end of the day, I think he's a really, really nice fit for this offense with Tyreek Hill's departure. There's obviously going to be a lot of room for targets. And unlike the Green Bay Packers, the Kansas City Chiefs have gone out in the offseason and picked up a lot of receivers. Juju Smith-Schuster, MBS, for example, you still got Hardman on this offense. And you also have Travis Kelsey, who's going to garner a lot of targets. The run game looks like it's going to be strong with CH and Ronald Jones in the mix. I do like the direction that the Chiefs have been taking in the offseason before the draft, but I really think that Sky Moore is going to have an opportunity to step up early and be a weapon right away for Patrick Mahomes and company. I think that the Chiefs are going to be just fine, even though they did lose one of their best playmakers of the past century. Patty Mahomes and Andy Reid will be able to piece things together. Still put out one of the most explosive offenses in the league, and I absolutely think that Sky Moore will be a huge part of that. And that'll do it for today's video. If you did enjoy today's content, be sure to smash that like button down below. Hit that subscribe button down below. Join the catch 
family on the road to 1,000 subscribers. And be sure to drop a comment down below. Let me know what rookie wide receivers you are looking to draft heading into the 2022 fantasy football season. And with that, I'll say thank you guys so much for watching and or listening. And remember, you saw it here on The Catch.